All right, let's get into fundamentals because I'm going to be here until like 8 o'clock. Okay. The difference. This is sterile. This is clean. Sterile. Sterile meaning the destruction of all microorganisms and their spores. Their spores are like their little eggs that they lay around in. Medical substance meaning that it's clean. It's just a basic wipe down with like a Clorox wipe. That's not sterile, that's only clean. Surgical sepsis is known as a sterile technique. Surgical sepsis, one, inhibits growth of pathogenic organisms. Two is known as a cleaning technique. Three includes hand washing. Four is known as a sterile technique. Sterile. When you're practicing medical sepsis, something like keeping the bed linen off the floor. That's medical asepsis, an example of medical asepsis. The nurse practices medical asepsis in daily care when he keeps the bed linens off the floor. I just told you that spores are the dormant form of microorganisms. The nurse instructs the patient that when conditions for bacterial growth are not favorable, the bacteria can be stored in a doormat form called spores. Okay. When it comes to C and S, what is this for? Or what does it stand for? Culture and sensitivity. When we culture, we're trying to find out the bacteria that's present. When we do sensitivity, we're trying to find the antibiotics that will kill the bacteria. When a patient complains that he is not yet on an antibiotic, the nurse explains that the physician is waiting on the results of the culture and sensitivity because this test determines what media the bacteria requires to grow, how fast the bacteria grows, which antibiotics stop the bacteria growth, when the bacteria colonizes, which antibiotics stop the bacterial growth. The most common bacteria Streptococcus. That's why so many people get strep throat. And guess what? If you get strep throat and you don't go to the doctor to get it fixed, the strep throat goes down into your kidney and now you have nephritis or glomerular nephritis, a very acute kidney infection that can ruin you for the rest of your life. So, 
When your throat starts to tickle and itch and you think you might have strep throat, please go to the doctor. Okay. Okay? You feel it. The most the nurse reminds the staff that the bacteria responsible for more disease than any other is streptococci. Okay. no effect on viral infection because they are anti-bacteria, not antiviral. Okay? A patient with a disease caused by a virus has complications that a patient with a disease caused by bacteria does not. The complication is that a virus multiplies rapidly, returns frequently, is not killed by antibiotics, is unable to be cultured, is not killed by antibiotics. Antivirals will stop the signs and symptoms, but they don't kill the virus. Your body has to fight the virus off, like the flu. There's nothing to give you when you have the flu. It's just rest, soup, be warm, cover up, all that. Okay. <laughs> Ringworm is a fungus. A six-year-old with ringworm asks the nurse if, he, if she has worms. The nurse instructs her that ringworm is caused by Fungi, fungus, either or. Okay. Okay. When it comes to the word safe environment, how do you offer a safe environment for? patients who are just at a doctor's office. You wash your hands. Between patients. So I'm not going to come and see Joel and then come and see Brenda if I don't wash my hands. Because why would I touch Joel and then touch Brenda? And poor Jewel right here has chicken pox and Brenda's never had them or the vaccine. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> then Brenda's gonna come back to the doctors in about five or seven days and tell me, I have all these bumps and I itch and I don't know where I got them and then I'm gonna think, I didn't do it. It's just I have to wash my hands. Uh, I don't I don't even even <laughs> I'll be like <laughs> like I don't know, we haven't had anybody in here with chicken pox lately. <laughs> Okay, in order to provide a safe environment for the patient, the nurse will be diligent in hand washing between patient contacts. Okay? When giving an example of a fomite vehicle, you guys remember that at all from lecture? Fomite vehicle is something that's not alive. So, a fomite vehicle is a stethoscope, is a blood pressure cuff. Oh, I remember that part. It means that virus can grow from a, a wood or something else. What happened? Not from. It means like the virus can grow on something else. On something yeah, else. That's it's not, not alive. from the the body of the. Uh -huh. Yeah, something, you know, on the table. <laughs> yeah, she says. Fomite means not living. 
okay? When giving an example of a fomite vehicle the nurse described, rabies dogs, person with AIDS, contaminated stethoscope, infected wounds. <coughs> That's the only thing not living in the whole living, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Okay, when you do wound cleaning, you will always clean inner to outer. Why? Clean it to dirtiest. Because if you do it the opposite way, can you see you washing in dirty material to the clean area that you just healed? So what's the purpose of doing that? There's nothing. The nurse assesses the need for more instruction in wound cleaning when she observes the patient cleaning the area from outside in. Do you understand that question? It's actually a negative question because it's telling you the nurse needs to intervene when she sees the patient clean from outside in because she's contaminating her wound. Okay? So in my mind, I know that a nurse has to clean a wound from in to out. I don't know, this is just a test bank, so I have 37 bullets. And it's only from one chapter, because you guys didn't get to chapter 13. So I'm going to go over all 37. Just like with the AMP, I went over way more than you guys needed, but for the most part, you guys did really good on your test, because I overtaught you. Okay. What is this? Non-sacromial infection. Does anybody know what it is? It is an infection acquired while you're staying at a hospital. The patient comes in with pneumonia, but two days later, they're diagnosed with a UTI. The UTI is known as a non-sacromial infection. It's an infection acquired while being hospitalized. Okay? The nurse is distressed when a patient admitted with a diagnosis of pneumonia develops a UTI because the nurse recognizes the UTI as a non-sacromial non infection. 